know, here in Berlin, IFA has a spectacular, unlike other shows that shall remain nameless, but like, you know, they're in Vegas in January. Uh, but this official daily is a wonderful magazine that really compiles all sorts of exciting things going on at IFA. And a lot of times, that's how I see a lot of the show, because I'm busy in our broadcast center doing interviews uh, all week. And it's like, oh, I'm flipping through his show daily and, and saying, well, that's cool. There's a new product. There's something we need to know more about and bring to our audience. So he is responsible for keeping it jam-packed as the editor-in-chief uh, with all kinds of interesting info on consumer tech. From IFA International, Richard Barnes. Richard, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you? Thanks, Dave. It's becoming a regular thing to, to see you here during the show. And I like this spot as well in uh, IFA Next. It's, yeah. really, it's really buzzing, as we, you said. We spent many years in, in Hall 24. We used to say we're the biggest thing in the smallest exactly, hall because yeah. it really was more like a hallway, but we loved it there. It was wonderful, easy to find. Mm -hmm. And then three years ago, they started this beautiful new innovation engine of IFA Next. And they said, we'd love it if you'd relocate your broadcast area there and we'll put you very visible. And it's boy, are we well, ever. Right? It is bigger. much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, have, we have enough room for ballroom dancing in here. And which we do. I was why you were doing that before. But yeah, you wondered. Yeah, well, yeah. after hours, you know, <laughs> we, we, we bring out the German beer and uh, you got to do something to keep yourselves entertained. Uh, so you have had an opportunity uh, uh, to see s much more of, of the show floor, I think, as I have between, you know, your reporters and photographers and run around covering stuff as well. What has jumped out at you mostly so far as you have been around IFA? Of course, everybody's talking about AI and, and this is the big thing. And of course that uh, uh, with the 5G thing, 5G is the 5G is the biggest thing, I guess, here with the, the mobile companies that are starting to get involved yeah. with 5G. At and first in Europe, pretty much, uh, uh, around the Berlin area. Uh, we've discovered too, IFA is kind of the 5G spot. Yes, I was oh, going to say that. This, but, uh, but I know, but you didn't, and, yeah. I, and I stole you it, it first, from you. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to steal it from you. Yeah. And of course, Chris is back there just, you know, like uh, rolling his eyes. Uh, did you really say uh, that was, on I the was air? I've always been a fan of motor racing, so we always th I was always thinking of the 5G forces, you know, and, yeah. and so this was the why we made one <laughs> headline about that. But it's, um, <laughs> it's interesting because when, when you know, people, I, I think over the past months have been saying, yeah, is 5G really going to catch on, blah, blah, blah. And here at, at IFA, we can actually see that this, yes, it's really happening. Mm -hmm. There are companies that are doing big things to move it forwards. And I think this is one of the things we've learned uh, over the past days here at IFA. So that I that is, that's a, a really big um, thing that we've been seeing. Of course, um, AI is, is something that's affecting yeah. everybody. Artificial today. intelligence has been kind of a buzz couple of words the last few years, but mm. is really hot at this show in particular. For numerous reasons. Yeah. Uh, one of which is the fact that, um, of course, we could talk to our fridge before or we could talk to our TV or um, so on. Now, I think what, what's really interesting, and this is something that came up at the, uh, uh, the LG Future talk uh, a couple of days ago, is that really your devices are going to talk amongst themselves. So for example, if your TV knows that there's the big match coming up on Friday, it will talk to the fridge and say, hey, there's a big match coming up on Friday. You better order some beers because Richard's going to be watching the big match. And then uh, it will talk to the oven and say, uh, y what have you got ready that we can cook up on Friday night? Um, and we're maybe going to uh, give a couple of recommendations. Because it's game time cook. again, so exactly. don't, don't let you down. Um, and this is actually real. It's really happening. Yes. I mean, this is no, it's not imaginary, well, you know, Isn't it all part of robots taking over the world? It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the other interesting thing, and that's why uh, the, the, the headline we had, Trust Matters. This, yeah. is, this is very, very important. On, on the day four, uh, well, you can go back to uh, Richard's camera even. Look at the day yeah. four headline on the front cover of the IFA International. Trust matters because as AI becomes ubiquitous, IFA leads the way in fostering faith in technology. And of course, we've also done some interviews here at IFA. Uh, depending on when you're hearing which part of which show, you certainly want to catch, including a professor, uh, Rob Sparrow, Rob who Sparrow. had some real yeah. interesting thoughts about the ethics of technology, and especially AI. So Very much. I spoke to Rob as well, and he, he has some, uh, we had a a very long discussion about that, and 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 he's not the only one because there are a number of people at the uh, at the uh, IFA Plus Summit that have, uh, have been talking about this, and um, 
And I think uh, I've never seen anywhere else where there's been a concentration of people really looking to try and find the solutions for this, what is really a big problem for people. People are very worried about what's happening to their privacy, sure. about what's happening when they talk at home and they've got speakers listening to them. If you're in the car, what, it, it's, a big, it's really a big issue today. And, and um, I think it's great that these people are here talking about this. And I, I really think that they're going to come up with some solutions, hopefully uh, to do with uh, uh, how that's going to pan out into the next few years. In fact, you have a quote in this particular article that talks about we need to know that AI will put humans and humanity first. Well, one would assume that, but no, that's the problem. It's not. It's yeah. putting money first at the moment, and yes. that, that's, that's, the, that's the big question. So I think they have to really rethink things. And uh, luckily, a lot of the people in, in the, uh, the companies that are here today are taking account of that. So I think that's, that's really, uh, it's the elephant in the room, as someone said. I can't remember actually who <laughs> yeah. said that, but it is the elephant uh, in the room at the moment. Um, so uh, some of the other things I think that um, we've been seeing and just getting off that thing of AI is uh, the folding phones, I think, have been, oh, very yeah. uh, have been an important uh, uh, factor here. And at a few uh, companies jumping on that folding phone bandwagon. Yeah, and I, at first I thought it was a gimmick. Yeah. Uh, then I went uh, to a, a, a product launch um, uh, where they explained all the new uh, apps that you can do with this and the fact that maybe when you're playing golf, you can have one screen for the uh, map of the golf course and another one for your scorecard. I said, that's actually, a, that's a useful thing. Mm. And if you're used to doing, if you're used to writing a lot with your phone, um, you can actually have one screen to write on. Yeah, to be an actual keyboard screen. that's easy keyboard. to use, not just thumbs. So there, <laughs> are, there are a lot of things like that that I think are, uh, are going to, pan out with those types of um, folding phones and, and I think that's going to uh, pick up as well. So uh, on top of that, the cameras are getting amazing in these mobile oh phones. Oh, I know. It's just incredible. And it's, it seems like it's only the professional photographers that do it full time for a living that are using digital SLRs anymore. Yeah. I mean, we still use them too for many of our candid shots and our guest pictures and, and so forth, uh, behind the scenes stuff. But we find that this, this pictures that we take similarly with our smartphones and up loading for our show pages are better in yes, many cases and that's scary because to your point yeah. the cameras are getting amazingly good which is another reason why we'll need 5g because we're going to be sending huge files especially yeah. if we're doing uh, 4k video and so on and so forth so i think that's going to be uh, one of the things i just saw there was a figure actually uh 62% uh, of smartphone users use high quality video and photos and that's a growing trend wow. uh, they say that uh, by 2023 there will be 800 million 5G users. That's future source uh, say that. So th and that, that's just barely around the corner. It's just around <laughs> the corner. So yes, I think um, especially given the extra capacity, the visual capacity of these uh, yeah. um, phones, this is really going to drive uh, 5G, the, visu the visual aspect that everybody loves oh, uh, sure. so much. Richard, always a delight to chat with you and catch up and, and we can share with each other what we've missed and, 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 w and what we've seen. IFA-international.org for information. You can see the show dailies there too. Absolutely, it's you can get them there. all in the uh, flipbook version or, or in HTML as well. So ah. if you just Google um, the name of anybody in there, you'll probably find it in the, in the HTML version. Oh, you probably, for example, will find us if you, you search, no doubt will. If you search into <laughs> tomorrow, because he always does a very nice article about us, which helps many exhibitors find us and say, can we have an interview? Here's our cool new product. And mm. it's like, well, sell us. If it's good for our audience, we'll talk about it. You know, Absolutely. sell us on your product. For so sure. <laughs> love it. Thank you, Richard. And by all means, continue good luck with the show. And whatever else you see, let us know. We'll try to get some more guests. Great to be <laughs> part of the show again, Dave. But thank you, sir ifa-international.org. Of course, we'll link you to Richard's site, and you'll see what he and his very large team here at IFA are up to. Do check out their show dailies. I think you're going to be amazed at some of the cool articles and the products as well, uh, many of which we cover here, and we'll show you on video when you visit intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue with much more from IFA in Berlin, Germany, here on the Advanced Media Network.